this is Kyle on the channel Kyle P or Kyle Pekorski. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what an element is. An element is a material made out of only one type of atom. There are many examples of elements. For example, hydrogen, beryllium, carbon, and oxygen are some just to name a few. In fact, there are 118 known elements. Carbon dioxide and water are not elements because they contain two or more types of atoms. For example, water has hydrogen and oxygen. All 118 elements are organized in the chart called the periodic table of elements. The atomic number is calculated by adding the number of protons an atom has to the number of neutrons an atom has. Elements are grouped into families based on their similar characteristics to one another. The elements on the leftmost column of the periodic table, except for hydrogen, are called the alkali metals. This group of elements reacts violently with water, creating hydrogen gas, which is flammable. By the way, the alkali metals are soft metals. If you're wondering why hydrogen is excluded from the al alkali metals, it's because hydrogen does not have the same properties as the alkali metals do. Because hydrogen is a gas while the alkali metals are solids. The next group of elements are called the alkali earth metals. They are in the second column of the periodic table. Like the alkali metals to the left, these metals are very soft, but do not react as violently with water. The wide central block of the periodic table is called the transition metals. This block of elements is relatively stable, except for technetium, which is radioactive. Some of the elements in this block oxidize slowly, the most notable being iron. Some are known for their resistance to corrosion, for example, gold and platinum. The group of elements after the transition metals is called the ordinary metals, even though most people think of ordinary metals as transition metals. This group of elements conducts electricity well. Between the metals and the nonmetals lies the metalloids. This group of elements conducts electricity but not well. This group of elements includes the semiconductors, which are important in modern life. The upper right triangle is called the nonmetals. These group of elements do not conduct electricity at all. The second to last column on the periodic table is called the halogens. These elements are known to violently react with substances in their pure form. The last column of elements are called the noble gases. These elements don't react with each other or any other elements are you to keep reactive elements from reacting with anything. The top row at the bottom of the periodic table is the landesites. These elements are chemically similar, so much that people disagree 
as to whether the lambda sites are all one element, which they're not. The row of elements below the lanthosides are the anthocytes. These elements are all radioactive. Hope you enjoyed the video that you just watched. Please subscribe to the channel Kyle P to watch new and exciting content once per day.